Hey guys, Zegwood25 and Archer9234 In episode 57 Ranger Review, today we have the Korax Sword and Shield from Power Rangers Mystic Force, aka Miles and Time Magic Ranger. And so we have a villain weapon now. Like like last time, the villain weapons and gear and other stuff were not released in America, so we never got the Korax Sword and Shield. Now, but we did get the US version for Mystic Red. It was different, but it had a similar design to it. Similar design, but... Of course, due to Bandai America thinking, oh, evil people, evil villains, they're not gonna sell because kids won't want, you know, bad guys. So this was not released. All right, so this is a sword and shield. Now this is a sword. As you can see, it's an okay handle, but it really hurts. This is a really hard plastic. Yeah, so there's no shot. rubber on anything. It's actually solid. It's not like well, it's a little bit rubber, but. It's still, you can still it hurt people with like, that. This thing hurts. And we have the shield. Now, as you guys can see, the shield is really small. It isn't that big. So, you know. That's its only drawback. You can put the sword inside the shield if you want to pose it like that or have it outside. And it has lights and sounds on all switches right here. So we just press the. It just reuses the sound effects from the Wolves Art phone. Back design is pretty. It's very like. sturdy. You can't really take it off. Yeah. Um. Like just like before, here's a sword and shield. Here's a sword and shield out. It's a really you know, interesting gimmick. Unfortunately, there was no release of the red version when he was turned good, so you only get the evil version. Yeah. Um. In Magic Rangers and in Mystic Force, when the Wolf Knight or Korag turned good, he had the red version. And I gotta say, the red version was actually kind of cool looking. It's the reddish, yellow, and black. Now, the funny thing is that the phone, his phone didn't even get a red version, but people have, been, people have been able to customize it to make it the fire Kaiser version. Uh, like I said, this thing, it hurts, so. Yeah, you could hurt people with that thing. That's you, probably, that could be another reason why it wasn't released too. I mean, you could actually injure people with that. This thing is not, if you think this is like a piece of rubber, Again, this thing is pretty, pretty hard, solid plastic. This is just really much lights and sounds. You you can do you can do it like this or like this. Yeah, and if you really want to get Korak stuff, because if, if you live over here, you never get it. So if you really want it that way, other than that, there's really no reason to get it. Um, you know, it's released in Banda Asia already, so pick it up if you can. It's not going to be that expensive compared to back in the days when Japan had it. But, you know, pick it up if you really like Korag a lot, but if you just don't really care much of Magic Ranger or Mystic Force, then don't get it, because it's one of those toys where it's like, yeah, I like it, but is it really worth it? Because one, as a collector, it's pretty small. The shield is really small. The sword... Decent size, could have been longer, but it hurts. That's about it. Alright, so uh, join us next week for the Mystic Lion Staff, aka the Dial from my region. Rate, come subscribe. We'll see you next week. Uh, in Japan, they always have random special releases, like in Deku Ranger was the special edition Deku Ranger Wobo, which was a black and purple one, like this, but it was black and purple. Um, and in Magic Rangers, they had like a few limited edition stuff, but um, I'm... Oh, they actually had a figurine of the Magic Rangers. Magic Red was gold, Magic... Um, well, Korag was silver. That was um, a figurine exclusive. I don't know, I forgot how that one worked, but 
They, every single series, there's always a special edition on this thing. So join us next week for the Mystic Lion stuff, aka the Magic, the Mystic Rob. Ah. <laughs> you! God damn it! God damn you, Mystic Force!